Transitioning to the solvent delivery system from Horizon Technology, a provider of sample preparation equipment for organic analysis. This video describes installing the solvent delivery system on the SpeedX 3000, although installing it on the 1000 is very similar. Before you install the solvent delivery system, turn off the power to the SpeedX 1000 or 3000 using the button on the controller module. Turn off the vacuum pump and turn off the nitrogen at the source. Then relieve the pressure that may be remaining in the solvent bottle by carefully loosening the cap. Position the canister next to the 3000 where you want to transfer the connections from the plastic coated glass solvent bottle. Static discharge is a hazard, especially near solvents, so the first thing that we'll do is connect the static discharge grounding wire. This needs to be connected to a true ground. Next, we'll transfer the solvent lines from the plastic coated solvent bottles to the new solvent delivery system. Unscrew each of the connectors from the bottle. and transfer them to the solvent delivery system metal connectors. You may have to uncurl a little bit of the tubing wrap in order to have enough to grab onto. Next, we're going to change the nitrogen lines over to the new solvent delivery system. So loosen the lines on the plastic coated solvent bottle. It's the small black gas line. Then you're going to take the attached gas line from the solvent delivery system and put each end, there's a little T, each end into the lines that are on the other bottle. It will look like this. The connections with the new system are complete and the plastic coated solvent bottles can be discarded. Now that the connections are complete, we'll talk about how to take the cover off of the canister and fill the canister with solvent, either methanol or hexane. Loosen the clamp and remove the top of the canister, being careful not to contaminate the sip tube when you put it down. Remove the grounding strap only if you're going to be moving the canister to a hood that's not right next to the instrument. Carefully pour solvent into the canister until it is almost full. Place the solvent canister next to the instrument and replace the top, immediately putting the grounding strap back onto the canister. Then place the clamp onto the canister and finger tighten. The pressure should be set to 15 PSI. That's it. The conversion is complete and you're ready to go.